If you clicked on this message, you are one of about 0.001% of people who would, would have seen this video. And as there is nothing in this universe that is just by accident, this message could be for you. So I invite you to stay and see if it resonates with you. So there was a message that I received that I want to bring to your attention because it was not only for me. And the message is that everything has meaning. I've said before that one of the biggest gifts, and this is actually a quote from Bashar. Bashar is an entity who is channeled by Adero Anka. And he always says the greatest gift the universe gives us is that nothing has meaning and you give the meaning to it. So now when I'm saying that everything has meaning, it means that you have the power to see the meaning and to give meaning to everything that surrounds you. This ties in with or connects with awareness. When you become more and more enlightened, your awareness grows. You become more aware of absolutely everything. That is why it is like a new, like a rebirth. It is like when a baby starts to discover the world, seeing things for the first time. Just like that, when you start to become aware and aware of awareness, you can remind yourself all the time to take note and to notice everything that comes into your reality. As you give attention to the things that you find beautiful, that you find positive, that you find uplifting, those things will expand as it gets more energy. The things you give your attention to, to don't have to be things that are already in the 3D that you can see. That is where a lot of people uh, make the mistake in manifesting and why sometimes manifesting something can take such a long time because they put their focus on what they can see around them. But when you want to manifest and are aware, you are aware of the vibration of what you have already created that is coming towards you, that is already yours. You are not fixated on the things that you can see now, but you already feel and live in the awareness of your manifested new reality. So the first message that I received was that everything has meaning. Become aware of that. Become aware of everything that you have attracted into your reality and what it says for you. There are such a, a richness of meaning and of messages from your guides, from your higher selves that shows up for you and that you might miss if you do not even know or believe that the universe communicates you through the things that you see in your reality. But it does. It is also when you become aware of things in the present moment, it is also easier to pick up on arrows that the universe place for you that point you in the right direction. You are not lost. You are not just left with no guidance to try and struggle and to find 
the way. There are clues for you every day. So that is the first point. Everything has meaning. Be aware of being aware. I think that's two points. That's the message. The first part of the message. The second part of the message that I want to bring to you is that you should learn to trust yourself if you are not doing that yet. If you are still uncertain, if you feel insecure, that is not coming from your higher self. That is not coming from the universe. Remember, we are all source energy. You are guided and you have you have the truth inside of you. The only warning that I want to give to you is to be very, very aware of your words, of what you say and how you say it and to whom you say it. Because our words are extremely powerful, words create. Um, I've mentioned in a previous video that I come from a Christian background and in the Bible it is said in the beginning was the Word and the Word was God. And I'm sure in many other religions it is also portrayed of how powerful the Word is because the Word is the, vib the vibration of the words is what creates. That is why we use affirmations. That is why we have literature and poetry and why that can stir emotions in people because it is the energy that it carries. Now when it comes to us, if we speak to ourselves, if we speak to others or if we have a platform like on YouTube or even on a stage or if we speak to our friends or our children, the words that we use create our reality and create in them or stir in them something that will lead to them creating things depending on what they believe from the words that we say so be very careful of what you say and don't also don't just speak out before you get the go-ahead from your intuition. Be very tuned in and listen to your inner voice before you talk to people and convey messages that has been given to you. So just to tie everything together in closing, the first thing is be aware of your awareness. That we get initially through practicing meditation but later on, you are always aware of being aware. Know that everything has meaning or has the potential to be interpreted by you. And when you follow that trail of meaning, that is when you start to see the synchronicities and to see how you are guided. And things become much easier and manifestations happen much quicker I promise you that so and the third thing is that we should trust ourselves and in that trusting going with that we should be very very careful of our words and how we use it be it to towards ourselves towards others in, on a small scale or on a bigger platform. Rather, wait a bit. Wait for confirmation from your inner self, from your intuition, before you speak. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please put it down in the comments. If you have not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. You can connect with me through the, my website. The link is on the video and in the description. I'm sending you my infinite love till I speak to you again in the next video. Goodbye.